Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 15 problem from August Lead Coding Challenge, Non-Overlapping Intervals. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given a collection of intervals, find the minimum number of intervals you need to remove to make the rest of the intervals non-overlapping. For example, 1 removing 1 comma 3 makes the rest of the interval non-overlapping. For example, 2 we need to remove two 1 comma 2 intervals to make the rest of the interval non-overlapping. While for example 3 we don't need to remove any of the intervals since they are already non-overlapping. As there is nothing given about the input being sorted, we will first sort the input based on the start value of the interval. After sorting, we need to decide which direction we need to start from, beginning or the end. Let's choose to start from the beginning. This problem can be broken into three cases. Case 1 is where the points do not overlap. In this, we do not need to remove any point. Moving to case 2, where point 1 shadows point 2. Here, point 1 ends after point 2. So, we can remove the one that takes up the larger space, that is point 1, so that we can use the extra space to accommodate other points. Case 3 is where point 1 has some overlap with point 2. Here we follow the greedy approach and remove the point 2 while keeping the point 1. With this we have covered all the conditions and we can move to apply them on an example. Let's take this example. We will take a result variable to store the number of points we have removed. Firstly, we will sort the input based on the starting value of a point. So the input will now look like this. Now let's start evaluating the conditions. These points satisfy case 1 that is no overlap. So we keep both. Also, as we need to compare the points further, we make the current as the previous. Coming to the second and third point, as this satisfies case 3 wherein there is some overlap, we need to follow the greedy approach and keep the previous while removing the current. So, as we are removing a point, we increment the result. Now we come to the last set of points. As this satisfy condition 1 which says no overlap, we keep both the points and the current becomes previous. But as there are no more points left to iterate, we return the result which is 1. Here's the algorithm. We sort the array based on the start value using a custom comparator. We initialize a variable to store the previous end and result. We then iterate through the sorted array and check all the three cases. At the end, we return the result. The time complexity for this algorithm is O of n log n as we have used sorting and the space complexity is O of 1. Here's the actual code snippet for the method. You can also check out the link to the code in description below. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also let me know in the comments what you think about the video.